parents across the country are still scrambling to find baby formula, including here at home. Yeah, recall and a nationwide shortage mean formula is tougher to find. Dana Smith tells us about the problem and the impact it's having on parents and babies in Hampton Roads. Families across the country are having a hard time finding baby formula. It's a problem that's even bigger for some moms because breast milk isn't always the right option. At two months old, he was diagnosed with acid reflux. Well, starting off, he did have some colic and some stomach issues. Jamie Shelburne's seven-month-old son, Fisher, and Bree Wright's four-month-old son, Caden, rely on baby formula. I am very concerned, yes. I'm just hoping it will get better. Shelburne is down to six small containers, while Wright is on her last container. We have to feed our babies this. We don't have a lot of other options. Abbott Nutrition recalled baby formula in February after some babies got a rare bacterial infection after drinking formula. Two babies died as a result. The recall meant a formula shortage at many stores and ongoing pandemic related supply chain issues are slowing down production, making the problem worse. With the formula recall and now the shortage, it's it's really putting a lot of families in a bind. Parents are going store to store looking for formula, asking friends and family to search. My mom's on the hunt. My mother in law. We're, we're looking for it everywhere. If you can't find formula, doctors recommend you ask your pediatrician if they have any. And remember, do not water down formula or try to make your own. That could make babies sick. We are actually at our last can right now. Um, and hopefully this evening when my fiance gets off work, we're going to go search and just start, you know, doing the going from store to store. Dana Smith, 13 News Now. Many stores, including Kroger and Target, are limiting how much baby formula customers can buy.